It's a new company to me with a bold claim. These bib shorts can help me ride further. Let's find out on this review. Hi there, it's John and welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. We're going to take a look at these red-white bib shorts in just a moment. But first, the album I've got on my shelf behind me, as I do in all my videos down here in my studio in the basement, Stevie Ray Vaughan's Texas Flood. The title track, Love Struck Baby, Pride and Joy, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Great record. Gone way too soon. Had a chance to see Stevie in concert many decades ago. It's been a long, long time. Now, today's review of these shorts, courtesy of somebody who left a comment on a recent review I did of a physique saddle, uh, handle Snafu Jag 100, and he, she, not sure uh, what they, uh, whether it's a man or a woman, said at the end of their little comment, also moved to red, white bibs. They are remarkable. And I thought, red, white bibs, never heard of them. So I naturally went online and checked out red, whites, website, which I'll put in the description below so you can check them out as well. And I got in touch with Yuva at Red White and I said, you know, I have a smaller channel which is growing right now. Can I do a review of your bib shorts? And Yuva said yes and sent these to me. So thanks so much, Yuva. Now I got them for free, but I'm going to give you an honest review of these bib shorts as I always do. Now you can buy these online for about $130 US at the exchange if you're in Canada or another country with a different exchange rate. Uh, but we're going to find out if these are good value for you if you're cycling on a shoestring because you can either get lower cost stuff or get better quality that lasts you longer and that shows a lot of value. Now these are called the Stealth Bibs. I think it's because they're all black. They do have the Bib Short and it's got some red on them. They have another pair that are cargo shorts, which have four pockets in them. And those pockets, you can stuff things like snacks, maybe your phone, other gear if you're going out on a long ride. They have a cool weather pair of bib shorts and they have a pair of winter bib short tights. Okay, so all the way down for the winter time, which I'd love to try out because I ride a lot here in the winter time. And maybe in the future, I'll do a review of those as well. But are these good for longer rides? Because that's the claim. They say they're better for longer rides because I think they have a unique chamois in them. And we're gonna take a close look at all of that right now. Starting with the top, the bib section, we're gonna look at the short section, then we're gonna flip them inside out and take a look at the chamois, what I like to call the heart of any cycling short. So let's do that right now on Cycling on a Shoestring. Looking at the top half of the short, the bib part, the strap part of the short, as you can see, nice wide straps on here, which go right up over the shoulder. Great stitching in between different pieces of material here and all the way around the section, I guess you could call the collar section and around the back. Very stretchy material, so gonna help hold those bib shorts up in all different directions. Over here on the left strap, you can see a little bit of branding there. It says red, white with the chain links going around R-I-D-E, which I think is rather clever. Now, as far as the material on the strap part of this, different from the short section, and here's how it's different. I'll bring up my light, and as you can see, if I bring the light up here, you can see a lot of light is getting through. It's almost a mesh-like material which I think is gonna be great for you if you're somebody who rides in really hot weather, maybe uh, really a lot of humidity. I don't think you're gonna feel oppressed by these shorts because it is almost like a mesh on there. It's gonna be a very airy type material to help keep you cool while you're riding. So great top half on these shorts. Now you may have been seeing the tags hanging out here. Uh, I'll address sizing in another section of this video. They mentioned to please hand wash in cold water and they're made out of 80% polyamide, 20% elastane, and made in Romania. I mentioned the company is located in Singapore. They do have manufacturing in different parts of the world, as they say on their website. Over here, it says, this is not a fashion accessory. This is a finely tuned weapon designed to help you ride further. Well, we're gonna put that to the test on this review as well. And they do mention on here, you can machine wash them, but they suggest cold water, always on the cold cycle and hang to dry in shade. I often say, do not throw your cycling gear in the dryer, they'll last a lot longer. So that's the top half, let's take a look at the bottom, then we'll flip them inside out and check out the heart of any cycling short, the chamois. The first thing I want to address on the bottom part of the short is the stitching, which is probably the best I've ever seen on any cycling short. It's very good quality, exceptional stitching on here. 
I can't even say what stitch that is. It's not triple stitching, but it's incredibly solid and it's around all the panels on the bottom half of the short. So really, really well done on here. I've complained, I think on other videos when it comes to uh, shorts, that in the past I've had them where the stitching around the chamois has torn loose. They put zigzag stitching and that's from companies that are really well known in cycling. So this is fantastic. And again, it's all the way around the back, the chamois and everywhere on the bottom. Now, right down here on the bottom part, right around the cuff, which I like to call, you've got that gripper type material down here, a huge wide swath of it down here. So they're not going to slide up. We'll test it out on the road, but like, I've got enough experience riding cycling shorts to know that these are not going to slide up. And you've got a little bit of branding there as well. RW for red, white. You know what? I would put your logo on the other side of these shorts as well because I think it's a pretty cool logo, red, white, with those chain links on there. But really well done on the bottom. Good, solid material down here. Doesn't feel like paper. It's good and solid. And I think they're going to stay down once you put them on. And probably be great if you're somebody who wears leg warmers, which I do quite often as well. I think they're going to grip to leg warmers too. So let's take a look at these from the inside when it comes to the chamois. And then we're going to take them for a ride. Here we are on the inside of the short, and I've done my best to flatten these out the best as I can. It's kind of hard because they're bib shorts and because we have a unique feature at the front, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. Now, first off, I just want to show you at the back here, you've got the imprint of the red-white logo in there. Much easier to see the stitching from the inside because it's black on red, but really good quality stitching that you can see from the inside. And they look different than other shorts I've had. Instead of a heart-shaped thick part here in the chamois where your sit bones would be a little more of an elongated piece back here so I'm interested to see how that feels when I go out on a ride now you've got different thicknesses in here thicker thinner thinner probably thinnest at the front as well and you have different densities of foam in these which they claim will not squish down and stay that way when you're out on a ride. So that way you can ride longer and you can be more comfortable. Now, what I really appreciate, and something I appreciate in this, this section down here through the middle, it kind of bows out on either side here and it's depressed a little bit right where your perineum is. And that's right underneath where you can get some pressure that makes you feel uncomfortable and you can get some numbness. It's very much like you might find a channel in the middle of a saddle. They have the ones with the holes in the middle. Now, I did a recent review of a bike saddle um, to try to take the pressure off there because I suffer from a thing called varicocele, which is very uncomfortable, which has been better lately, but has not been cured. So I really appreciate that depressed part down the middle of these uh, shorts and on this chamois. Now, at the front, this is really different, and you've obviously noticed you've got this, I guess, Y shape up here, or this fork up here in the front. Now, there is a piece in the middle, which is an elastic mesh type material. And I'm gonna try my best to show you how this works. And again, because they're inside out, it's kind of hard to do. But up here at the front, it kind of cups at the front. It doesn't lay flat, it kind of cups at the front. Now this is specifically on the male model of this bib short. Now if you were to buy the red white for females, this is not part of that. This provides some support for men at the front and makes it a little bit more comfortable for you. So I'm really interested in this. This is a real different thing when it comes to cycling shorts and to a chamois which I've never seen in any other short. So this mesh material, this elastic mesh at the front, it's gonna be interesting to see how that feels when I go out on a ride, which I'm gonna to have to do. And I'm gonna do some uh, pretty long rides on these because they claim they're better for long rides. Gonna to have to put them to a test. Heading out right now to uh, test out the red white uh, bib shorts. Uh, I got a 65K ride in a couple of days ago on the shorts. But as I've mentioned a number of times in this review so far, they say they can help me ride further. So today I'm doing a 125K ride. It'll take me about five hours. I checked, I've done this ride before. It's about five hours, 507 I think the last time, although I'm not gonna try to break any record today. So I'm gonna do that today. So it's gonna give these a good test out. I'm going by way of Canada Olympic Park, which is in the far Northwest of Calgary, out to Cochrane, Alberta. And then I'm gonna come back through the North part of the city. I want to address sizing a little bit right now. As far as sizing goes, a little bit of a challenge with these shorts for me but I want to say that the customer service at Red White was amazing with these. I ordered XL uh, they didn't fit me quite right. I ordered double XL they didn't fit me quite right and right now I'm wearing triple XL. Now you have to realize and if you talk to my wife uh, she'd say that I'm kind of an odd shape. I have a longer torso 
Uh, so it's a little bit odd for me when it comes to sizing. The 3XL feel pretty darn good right now. They felt good on that 65K ride the other day. But I have to say the customer service was great. When I first uh, sent uh, the shorts back or I sent an email saying I was going to, I had the wrong size shorts, uh, they sent out another pair of shorts before I got an email back from Yuva at Red White, who has been just terrific with this. And the delivery came in less than a week all the way from Singapore. So you're going to get a fast delivery on these. And if you go to their website, I've noticed a a little box pops up right now that actually helps you with sizing right off the bat. So if you're going to order from them, they will help you with the sizing, no problem. So again, I'm kind of an odd shape, but these ones feel good on me right now. And I'm going to give them a big test ride today. Get a little bit of video on this ride, not a lot. I don't want to make this video too long. And I'll probably wrap up this review at the end of this ride. Just got back from my ride to test out the red white stealth bib shorts uh, and checking out the Garmin here 129k today four hours and 55 minutes 1056 meters of climbing so how do I feel about these bib shorts well first of all uh, do they help me ride further no, they don't help me ride further. I'd have probably done this ride anyway, but the question is, do I feel comfortable after riding 129K in these bib shorts? And yes, I do. They're very nice bib shorts. As a matter of fact, as I was riding through Cochrane, which from where I'm sitting right now is about 65K away, I started to get the feeling that they feel better the more I wear them. This is the second ride I've had them on and they feel better than the first ride. So maybe I had to break them in a little bit. Now, as far as the chamois, uh, does it maintain that softness when you're on a long ride? I believe it does. It's a very comfortable chamois and I really enjoyed that. And that elastic mesh I mentioned when we were looking at the chamois on the inside really does a good job of helping out men if they're out riding on a long ride like this. I like that a lot. Now, sizing is key with this. I did have some issues with sizing, but you can be assured that if you order these from Red White, and I'll put their website in the link below or in the description below, they're going to help you out with your sizing. As a matter of fact, when you go to their website, a little box will pop up and it helps you with the sizing right off the bat. I highly recommend these shorts. I think they're terrific. As a matter of fact, next week I'm doing my annual ride up to Highwood Pass and I'm going to be wearing these bib shorts because I think they're going to be great for that ride. Terrific bib shorts. Now, as far as these rides go, uh, you can find them uh, below, Ride with GPS, also Strava in the description. And also follow me on Instagram. I'm still learning how it works. Uh, but I'll be posting more stuff on there as well. You can follow me at Cycling on a Shoestring. Now, if this review was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. Hey, I run 129K to test out these shorts, so I really put them to the test. You can also, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell as well uh, to get uh, notifications. And thank you so much for watching Cycling on a Shoestring.